What's up guys, it's Bastian here coming at you with another unboxing video. Yet again, Transformers TCG. You may have noticed I'm digging further into this car game and today I have uh, the uh, Devastator starter deck, theme deck, box opening for you, package opening for you guys. Um, was the purpose? Well, obviously a bunch of mini bots combined together and we have one large robot, almost like Voltron. Uh, set to stuff, this really was, uh, you know, all about the combiners, so, you know, uh, this deck is all about Constructicons and combining into Devastator. We're predominantly interested in some of the cards that you can only get in this set, and um, I do believe the counterpart of this deck was Metroplex for Autobots, but if I'm wrong, please do correct me in the comment section below. Uh, we are indeed going to have a look at this Devastator deck though, and um, see what we find. I don't have the trusty scissors, and I'm not gonna lie, I mean this packaging isn't like uh, super aesthetic once you take out the cards. I did keep the Soundwave Blaster deck because I got the... Uh, um, the San Diego Comic Con release one. As the San Diego Comic Con release, it was released there first, but it was available in retail elsewhere. So that's what we get. Um, just a bunch of plastic, obviously keeping it all neatly tucked in together. And the deck. And basically just a bunch of our combiners to come together. So take the top plastic off there we go that's done and um, let's just go through our units first and then we're gonna go and crack open the deck as well so combined we get Devastator. Now these have been in the packaging for a while, so you do have a little bit of a bit of a um, sort of bend in the middle of these cards. There you go. That's what we get when we combine the guys together. Nice little uh, Devastator right there. Thirty-three health, six attack. To defense, when this is combined, repair uh, an amount of damage from him equal to the height of your tower. One thing that we obviously do is kind of build the tower. These guys are Constructicons, kind of makes sense from a flavor point of view. Pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> while your tower is 6 or higher, this is bolt 2. While your tower is 10 or higher, change this character's base attack from 6 to 10 and that's obviously also fantastic so let's look at the components here for our 25 stars we have bone crusher uh, 341 341 when this attacks in alt mode you may scrap a car from your hand if you do put a high counter on your tower and in bot mode it has pierce 2 we got hook in alt mode, uh, sorry, 270, 270. Uh, in alt mode, when this attacks, you may scrap a card from your hand if you do put a high counter. And it has Pierce 1. Then we have Long Haul. Long Haul uh, 261, 261. In alt mode, when this attacks, you may scrap a card from your hand if you do put a high counter on your tower. Bold 1. In bot mode. We have Mixmaster with the same effect in its alt mode. It's a 342, 342, and a Vodilla in bot mode. We have Scrapper. Again, same. Uh, same. No, sorry, different effect. It's a 371. At the start of the game, put your tower tracker into your KO area with a hide counter on it. And in bot mode, when this or one of your other Constructicons is KO'd while this is on the battlefield or in your KO area, 
with a high counter on your tower. And last, but certainly not least, we have Scavenger. 351, 351, and it does have the same effect as most of the other guys in alt mode, and it has tough one. So all these uh, guys obviously combining together we get Devastator. For that to happen, we do need Constructicon Enigma battle card. And if you guys know the set two cards, obviously quite a few Enigma cards exist. Uh, the idea is to obviously help you get uh, your big combiner out. As usual, we get some tokens. We also get the um, uh, the basics of the game. There you go. Easy to explain. And here we have our tower. Uh, so the tower, uh, use this helper card to track the number of high counters on your tower. This uh, starts in your KO area with one high counter on it. Your cards can add more. That's it. That's how you build your tower. Simple enough. The higher your tower, the more powerful Devastator becomes. Fantastic. Kind, quite a neat little um, addition, actually. I do like this a lot. Okay, so let's see what we get in the theme deck. Okay, we get uh, our rare uh, Constructicon Enigma. If you have Demonstrator on the battlefield, repair one damage from him, then put a high counter on your tower. If you have six Constructicons in bolt mode on the battlefield and or in your KO area, combine them into Devastator Towering Warrior. So you need this card to combine together. Hopefully we have three of them. Uh, we got Builder's Tools. Uh, three copies of Builder's Tools. Uh, put this on Constructicons only. It's a green pip utility. Um, Obviously, uh, purple, making it a Decepticon card. Uh, when the obligated character attacks, put a high counter on your tower. So again, it's just adding to our tower. We got three copies of Heavy Landing. Heavy Landing is a, an action card, another Decepticon card. Do one damage to an enemy. If your tower is six or higher, do three damage to the enemy instead. So build up that tower, make six or higher, three damage is amazing. Really, really good. Reclaim. Put an upgrade from your scrap pile on top of your deck. If your tower is through a higher draw a card, this is particularly fantastic in shockwave decks. Three copies of work overtime. If you have fewer than four cards in hand, draw a card. Uh, draw cards equal to the uh, difference. Um, a fantastic sideboard card against uh, Soundwave decks, really. Uh, sorry, Soundwave, uh, Shockwave decks. You know, you just you you can draw back to four. That's pretty cool. There you go. There's our other two Constructicon Enigmas. So you do get the playset, which is fantastic. Uh, you need the playset, realistically. <clears throat> Although it is a green pip card, you obviously get it into your hand very quickly. But, you know, um, what I do like about these Enigma cards is that it's not just there to help you combine. And you do get a little uh, effect there as well. Uh, to the repair one damage from uh, him, then put a high counter on your tower. So, you know, you can you always get some use out of it. It's not a deck card. And then for the uh, deck in general, uh, these are cards that you can get from Wave 1s and 2. Blast Shield, um, not a bad one. Uh, blue pip, plus 2 defense, uh, but you do need to scrap it after the character defends. Obviously, as the game went on, there were better shields out, but it's still, you know, for Wave 1, pretty cool. Three copies of Force Field, fantastic armor. If you would take um, five or more damage, you take four damage and you scrap this card. Fantastic card. Grenade Launcher. Uh, if anybody needs introduction to Grenade Launcher, it's simply one of the best uh, weapons in the game. Uh, orange Pip plus four attack. You do have to scrap it. Doesn't matter. Four attack. Really, really, really strong. 
We get two copies of Ramming Speed. Uh, Scrap Anatomy Upgrade, again, fantastic stuff. On par with Vaporize and also uh, Disarm. You know, really just depends what sort of way you want to go. Ramming Speed is the one to go with if you want more orange pips in the deck. This deck seems to be mostly, or, well, no, it, it seems to be, uh, well, I want to say 50-50 split. It does need to lean a little bit more on the orange side. We do get three Scrapper Gauntlets. Scrapper Gauntlets are pretty cool because it either removes one of your opponent's weapons. Uh, sorry, uh, yes, weapons. And if it doesn't, it draws your card. So it's it's either a remove one or a cantrip. Either way, it's good. Uh, two improvised shields for some reason. Why this can't be three, I don't know. But uh, you still get the, the double orange pip uh, off these cards. Uh, usually they tend to be a three of if you do go orange heavy. And then we got one, two, three pep talk. Um, I guess the fundamental draw to your bill uh, for the game. Um, good card. But there are uh, better draw cards in the game as well. But you know, if you just like, oh, what? I need to draw two cards. This is the card to go to your into your deck. Uh, three copies of Primary Laser. Uh, I like that plus two attack. But again, you you really yes, yeah, a common. So you know, it's a common. It does what it does. And then we got three copies of Rapid Conversion. Uh, in any you know shape or form, usually decks do need to, in my opinion, have at least um, three to perhaps six cards that allow you to uh, transform your guys. This one allows you to flip a character from any of its modes to any of its modes, and with the white pip, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do kind of prefer Escape Route just for the green pip. But uh, Rapid Conversion is definitely a solid card, nevertheless. So we do get actually a pretty nice split of um, uh, oranges and uh, blues. But just for, just for the sake of the video, let's look at... Let's look at the ratios here. So we get... 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We get 13 oranges. We get 15 blues. So that's really not much of a difference. And we get 9 whites. And we have the enigmas, which are just the green pip. So it, they, they're basically not going to be doing anything else besides us grabbing them, putting them into our hands. Um, I think it's... Yeah, I mean, interesting because you know, I you know, you count thirteen orange pips, but we do have two improvised shields. So technically, the pip ratio is the same for orange and blue, even though you are you know looking at two less cards for for orange. The improvised shield is a fantastic card, giving you that double orange. Nevertheless, um, I think for somebody to get into the game, pick up the starter and run with it, it's it's perfect. There's, there's nothing here that makes it too complicated, no you know, extra turn shenanigans. You do get a neat little tower, I really, really like this little tower thing. Um, the bots themselves, they, they aren't complicated at all, you know, in fact, you know, just um, scrap a card from your hand, put a tower, a high counter on your tower. You will often be looking at scrapping, you know, constructive an enigma. Perhaps um, if you've or if you got like two, you're not gonna need to um, improvise. Shield can be really cool for that tough one in this deck, with obviously having a, a bunch of uh, blue pips here as well. Force feels great for any beginner deck, you know. It's just like a safety valve, and uh, and I do like the specific cards here as well. You know, builders, tools, work overtime, reclaim. Uh, and uh, heavy landing, they all really, you know, push the deck, uh, allowing you to deal up three damage with heavy landing in this deck. That's absolutely amazing. That's 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 so good, super super good. Um, Reclaim can help you to, uh, you know, like get I don't know, an improvised shield on top of your deck, for example. 
Um, and then you just guarantee to flip that double orange. That's pretty cool. Um, if you need a builder's tool, um, again, you can you can just put it up there. And if you got your tower at three or higher, you can immediately draw it up as well if you want to. So there's a lot of little like neat little combos in the deck that I definitely appreciate. Uh, I think it's a really cool starting point. Um, if you haven't picked up Transformers yet, but you're interested in it, I would definitely recommend to pick up the uh, um, Devastator. Sorry, well, is it Devastator? Day? It is Devastator. Uh, the Devastator Constructicon deck. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for joining me for this quick opening. I hope you like the video. Until next time, Boston sign out. Peace.